up, down, up, down. This is the usual day of a Virgin Galactic stock investor. Well, let me tell you in this vlog what you should know and what will happen next, in my personal opinion, with Virgin Galactic stock. I know guys, the space stock Virgin Galactic can be quite frustrating. Once we reach, you know, new highs of 23, 24, the stock goes back down. And let's have a look into the chart. So it's just a week ago when we reached $24. This was obviously, you know, the overall market looked for the stimulus. There was, you know, the anticipation of the test flight. Things were moving on until they don't, right? So many people, I think, understood that the test flight will be actually on the 22nd, while they said this will be the opening window for the test flights and they cannot confirm a test flight. So you can see that this definitely impacting heavily the stock and uh, we lost since then more than 24%. So one fourth of the company value. Now, why is that? I mean, this, this pattern we see all and all over and all over again. Okay, so it started back in February where we had the ridiculous price of $37 per share with the overall market going like crazy. Then we fall all down because of the health crisis and then we went back up because of the CEO announcement, the cabin reveal, and then we went down again and then we went up on the overall market stimulus hopes and you know with the anticipated test flights. Now, as you can see, if a stock don't have a really operating business that is growing, you know, quarter over quarter and still is developing the operation, you know, all the news that coming out is basically the facts that we can trade the stock on. And there's people that don't understand that and, you know, sell, buy, sell, buy, you know, and most of the time it doesn't work out like you think you will sell and buy at the right time. You will rather, you know, buy high, sell low. This is actually what will happen, guys. Don't think that you can outsmart the market just because you think, you know, you see which price targets, you know, other way around, it could be also happen that, you know, past 24, we could have seen 27 and stayed in this level, right? So there can be anything happening to the market. There can be a breaking news of you know the politics in the US and the stock goes hugely high. So, you know, I think that you should be aware that Virgin Galactic is a very volatile stock. If you cannot live with that, don't invest in it. If you understand that this potential that they have will play out in a couple of months and you can wait and you trust and you understand the business, the growth, the market opportunities, then maybe this is something for you. Otherwise, let's have a look what I think will happen next. Okay, here's what I think, in my opinion, will happen next for the Virgin Galactic stock. So once we see all this pressure from the market, I think it will be very hard for space to just hold because there's so many people that just go in into the stock because of the short term gain, but not of the long term perspective. And this is the different guys. OK, there is a lot of people and also people that texted me lost a lot of money because they're trying to time the market in, out, uh, left, right. And this is actually the worst mistake that you can make. And therefore, you should be just aware that this stock, you know, can go to 14, 15, but it can also, you know, just rebound from here. So it all depends on the overall market. The space stock will stay very, very volatile and very sensitive to the overall market. And uh, once this is done, like once the election is done, the stimulus is done, all of this uncertainties out of the market and the earnings show that you know we are better than expected then I think also uh, Virgin Galactic will have the chance to go rather to the 20 levels again and maybe hold there uh, for a time until it goes uh, very very interestingly I think up when we know more about the test flight guys this is crucial this milestone is absolutely necessary because this is the checkbox for the company 
to go further into business. And this will happen, in my personal opinion, I think maybe end of November. I just don't see it in, in October anyway, not, but I don't see it in the whole months of, of November. I still think they need the November, you know, they just moved to a new, you know, launching area. And I think that's, you know, something that uh, needs to be set up as well. I think they finally uh, put in the cabin as well, which is also time consuming for sure, because there have to be so many tests on uh, George Whiteside's Twitter. We saw that there's the rocket test that they already did. So there is something going on in the background, but still, I think that it's realistic to assume maybe to the end of November, we shall see the test flights or, in the beginning or mid of December. This is, you know, my personal timeline, just, you know, from this experience that if, if there was some dates and it was either pushed or, or, or went into the further spectrum of the timeline, and I think that this will happen again. So don't expect, you know, the test flight beginning of November. If so, I will be super happy and the stock can go a really, really interestingly high. We know the levels that the stock can go just when the management start to announce something new like the test flights or a new CEO you know we have seen Virgin Galactic at 37 we have seen Virgin Galactic at 27 but it's hard to keep up if you don't deliver the milestones and this is actually what they are working on right now so I think it's uh, it's it's important to understand that that you need a really long-term thinking on Virgin Galactic In the conclusion of this video, I would like to empathize that we have here a membership, okay? If you're pressing the join button below all the videos, then you can get to the membership. With the second tier, you get access to our Discord chat, where you then speak and chat every day and 24 hours around the world with like-minded people. And if you take the diamond tier, you can get even 101 with me. I think there's no other financial YouTuber that uh, offers you that for a small fee that is even less than your time-wasting Netflix subscription, okay? So think about that. Then I would appreciate obviously a like also, and I want to, again, make you strong and thinking, you know, buy the dips if you are interested in Virgin Galactic, because, you know, we might have an up and down, we might have a Virgin Galactic roller coaster, okay? But I am telling you that we can be really greatly rewarded. You can see this volatility in all of very, very great stocks and asset classes. You know, Bitcoin went, you know, three times up, 90% down. Same went for Tesla, same went for Amazon. So it's normal for growth stocks like that to absolutely go crazy in the one or the other direction. So you should not be too much concerned about, you know, this up and downs. Obviously, you should definitely work on your emotions. If this is really getting you, then you should work on your emotions. And the only thing that really helps to that is thinking, okay, I am investing into this company. I know the risk that it can go zero, right, obviously. And if there is something like more dangerous happening to the spaceship or whatsoever, then obviously we can see this stock go very, very down. I just want to make sure that you understand the risk with the stock. But on the other side, the potential that the stock goes multiple from here is obviously there. And don't forget what Warren Buffett always liked to say, buy when others are fearful because it's always the same once the stock goes back to 30 you know i will get all the messages out there saying you know i should have bought more i should have used the 18 dollars i should have used the 15 dollars of price i should use the 20 dollars i should use the 30 dollars even because now the stock is maybe at 100 dollars and i see a stock that is at least $100 with Virgin Galactic with all the milestones that they approaching with the Mach 3 airplane. You know, we talked about the update on the Mach 3 airplane. It will take some years, but it will change the private airplane industry. And what does it mean? There is another video about that on my channel as well. So check out, there's huge information about Virgin Galactic. You can be, you know, busy the whole day watching Virgin Galactic stock here 
on this channel because I made so many videos because it's a high conviction trade of me but this is just for me I'm not a financial advisor obviously you know I have to disclose that and to make sure to make your own decision and let me know in the comments what you finally decide on